Hi everyone, it's Maggie here. We're gonna be doing today a full body circuit strength class. So what you're gonna need is you're gonna need a mat if you have one, a nice wide open space. And then you're gonna have a couple dumbbells. You can change the size, change the weight if you would want. We're gonna go ahead and do it this week. Start with kind of a lighter weight, maybe fives, tens, fifteens, twenties, somewhere in there. Next week, you can work your way up, and then we'll just keep working towards heavier weight as we go. Um, we're going to be doing about a 45-minute class, so if at any point in here you need to stop, take a break, get some water, feel free to do so. We're just going to go ahead and keep on working through. All right, so we're going to go ahead and start with the warm-up here. Also, feel free in the background to turn on some music, get some headphones in, listen to me as you go, or just watch me and follow along. All right, we're gonna start here by just marching in place. Kind of just shake it out. You're gonna loosen it up here. Try to get your shoulders rolling, head rolling. Get all those kinks out, all those cracks. All right, if you're feeling up to it, let's do some high knees or a high march. Get those knees up as high as you can. Keep that heart rate going up. If you're feeling good. Let's go faster. Ready? And go. Get those knees up as high as you can. Again, if this is a little too intense, go back down to right here. Keep with the high knee march. All right. Let's go ahead and do some butt kicks now. Touch your heel as high as you can. Try to get it all the way in your butt. Ready? And go. Going to go here for another 15, 20 seconds. Again, this is too intense. Go here. Let's go side to side. And butt kicks just like this. Keep shaking it out. Get as loose as you can. Don't go too hard right away. Keep working up to it. All right, let's stay here in the middle. Let's twist our back. Get our back a little warmed up. Let's go hand to foot, hand to foot. Let's go far down as you can. Important here to make sure you don't keep those knees locked up. All right, let's switch sides now. Other to the hand, the other foot. Get as far down as you can. If you can't touch your toes, that's okay. We're just going to work up to it. All right, keep that going a little longer here. All right, now let's switch. Let's go into a lunge position. Lunge forward here. Get as far down as you can go. Give me a side view. The important thing here is try to pulse it out a little bit. Get this hip flexor loose. Push these hips forward. You'll feel a pull right here. Get that as loose as you can. You can stay here, get a little twist in again if you want. Come back up and to the other side. Come back down right here. Twist, get a little pulse in. You can only make it here, that's all right. You can make it here, that's great too. Keep it here, just get it all loose. All right, let's move into open the gates. We're gonna get our other, our other side of our hips warmed up. Right here and up. Get that knee as high up as you can and get it as out wide as you can. Try to get it right in line here with your body. Get those hips really warmed up. You should feel a good burn right around here. All right, let's switch, let's close the gate now. Come back in and close it. Knee up, come back into the center of your body. Right here. If you're feeling good, you can add a little hop. Just like that. Good work. All right. We're gonna reach down to our toes. Get our hamstrings warmed up. Pulse here. Two, three, go up on our toes. Get our calves warmed up. Two, three, back down. One, two, three, and up. One, two, three, and down. One, two, Three, and up, two, three, let's go more time, down, two, three, and up, two, three, let's do some shoulder circles here, 
kind of walk in place. Try not to stay real still. Maybe do some toe taps. The low shoulders ripped out. Let's go forward. Really get our shoulders warmed up here. Let's get our arms warmed up. Let's do some arm circles. Let's go backwards. Don't go too fast on these. This is just a warm up. Let's go forward. All right, let's go ahead and let's step out and in. We're gonna just get our chest warmed up here. Try to get his arms as back far as you can. You're gonna feel a stretch right here, right through your chest. Good work, and just march it out one more time. All right, I'm gonna take you through three circuits, three different circuit workouts. The first two are gonna be our major muscle groups, and our last two is gonna be our Minor muscle groups, all right? So we're gonna start here with our first circuit. We're gonna start with a good old fashioned push up. Many of you will probably know how to do a push up. We're gonna come here, get up on your toes, try to keep as flat back as you can, keep your butt down, come down to the floor, and up. Get as far down as you can. Let's go ahead and go now. If you can't do a push up, come here to your knees, keep again, keep a flat back, and come down. Set your nose and up, down and up, down and up. It's important here, try to get as many as you can, but with good form. Don't go too fast when you're getting all like this, either loosey goosey or your butt's coming up. Make sure you're sticking straight as you can, get good form. You can either have your elbows come out or if you want a little more chest activation, or you can have your elbows come back in towards your body like this for a little more tricep. Let's keep going here. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, you're going to stay here on the ground. You're going to lay flat here like this. We're going to do Superman. You're going to act just like Superman. You're going to bring your legs up and your arms up. We're going to pulse here for two seconds. Come back down. One. Two and down. One, two, down. Try to get his legs, your legs and your arms up as high as you can. If you can't get them up that high, that's all right. You should really feel this right here in your lower back. It's a good lower back exercise. One, two, and down. One, two, and down. All right, we're going to go ahead and stand up. Grab those dumbbells that we got here at the beginning. We're gonna do a dumbbell shoulder press. We're gonna come right here. Make 90 degree angles with both your shoulders. Come up above your head and come back down. Try to get in the picture here. Come up and back down. Go go here for a little bit. It's important once again, don't go too fast. Try to get as many as you can, but again with good form. Come right here and down. Use as light as weight as you can. Or use as, if you need to use light weight, that's okay. Try to go as heavy as you can. And again, heavy as you can with good form. If you can't go too heavy right now, that's all right. We're going to keep working up to it. It's our first day of strength class, and we're all good. Keep working towards it. Let's go one more. And down. All right. We're going to do a good, a good squat. Let's get our legs in. You're gonna come here, go shoulder width apart, knees slightly facing out, and you're gonna go down. Keep those knees out as you can, and come back up. Here, you're gonna to wanna to go below 90 if you can, or right at 90. Right here is perfect. Here is good too. Make sure your back is nice and nice and flat, but at an angle, just like mine is right there. That's perfect. Here, go as low as you can. If you can only go right here, that's okay. Again, we're gonna work up to it every single week. Get better and better. Now, if a body weight squat is a little too easy for you, go ahead and grab one of those dumbbells. Put them in your hand just like this. Come here and come down. Back up. Down, back up. Here too, if you have, if you have a kettlebell, that works too. Dumbbells just fine. Keep working up and weight if you can. Keep going here for a little bit. 
Okay, call it good. All right, gonna grab both our dumbbells now. We're gonna do a hamstring RDL. What you're gonna do is you're gonna grab both hands, keep those hands nice and flat, come right here, right at the top of your thighs. We're gonna roll down right below our knees and come right back up. Watch me from the side here. My feet are shoulder width apart. I'm gonna keep my knees slightly bent, not too straight, right here. Come down, we're gonna keep our back flat, push that butt backwards and come down. You should feel a good stretch in your hamstrings. If you don't feel a stretch, try to either look at your form or go ahead your dumbbells. Come here and come up. This is a killer one. You're gonna feel it tomorrow for sure. Down, come back up. Right when you feel a stretch here at the bottom, come back up. Some of you might feel a stretch right here and that's okay. Come down and back up. Go down and come back up. Let's go one more time. Down and back up. All right. We're going to go ahead and go on to our second circuit here. This is again, this is another major muscle group. We're going to go ahead and do all the same muscle groups that we just did. We're going to do a little different exercise. All right. We're going to go ahead and we're going to lay on the ground. And we're going to do a chest floor press. This is a good chest exercise. It's a little different, a little variation to bench. It's a good accessory for our bench press workout. So you're going to come down here on the floor. Our elbows are going to go 90 degrees. Dumbbells in both hands, wrists facing out. Come up and press and come back down. You might be a little shaky right up here, and that's okay. That's completely normal. Your body's going to adapt really quick. And by next week, you're going to be really good. You're going to be perfect. Again, here, try to do as many as you can in our short time, but with good form. You can go up and wait. That's awesome. Keep it here. Keep it steady. If dumbbells are a little too heavy for you, go ahead and just use your body weight. Just get that form down and practice that. Keep it going here. Go one more. And done. We're going to do a back exercise now. All right. We're going to do what's called a dumbbell lat pullover. You're going to take the dumbbell, just one, put it in both hands, just like this. Cup it like you would with your squat. We're going to come back over our head. And we're going to come up and right to here, right above your chest. The lat pullover. Gonna work your lats right here. Again, you'll probably feel this one tomorrow. This is a really good one. It's important here to like not use too heavy of a dumbbell. Try to feel like you might drop it. You wanna make sure we're being really safe. Be careful here. Do as good as you can. If you again, you can't use a dumbbell, go ahead and just use body weight. Come up here and come over. Just get that form now. Practice it as much as you possibly can. Here. Come over. Down. And over. Let's go one more time. Down. And over. All right. Good work. Let's go ahead and stand up here. Gonna grab our dumbbells again. Keep those. Now we're gonna do a lateral raise. This is going to be a shoulder workout. This is going to work the lateral, the lateral head of our shoulder. All right. So what you're going to do? Let's go out to our side again. Shoulder or feet shoulder width apart, just about. Take the dumbbells. We're going to raise up here to the side, just like this. Just so you're right in line, making a T with your body, and then come back down. It's important here to hold and control as much as you possibly can, and come back. You don't want to be super wobbly here or have such a heavy dumbbell where you're kind of falling or you're jerking up the weight. Try to be as controlled as you can. Get a good weight to where you really feel the burden right here on your shoulder and come back down. 
Support here as well. Do not keep your arms straight out like this. It's really going to make you get some elbow pain. Keep those elbows slightly bent just like this. Come up. And down. Up. And down. Up and down. Let's keep going here. Up and down. So good, good to shoot for around eight to 12 reps is kind of where we're, we want to head for what we want to hit. That's a really good rep range for us. Back down, come up, and back down. All right, we're going to go ahead and we're going to do a lunge. All right, the lunge, kind of hard. We'll get through it, just like we did in our warm-up. We're going to go ahead and we're going to lunge down and come back up. Now you're going to switch legs this time, come down, and step back. If you want, keep the dumbbells in your hand and hold them right by your side. Add a little extra weight. Makes it a little more challenging. If you don't want to, do the body weight. Come down, come back up. This is killer. You should feel it really in your butt, your quads. Everything should be burning here. These are hard. These are hard ones. Keep it going. Don't feel bad if these are a little hard. That's all right. And now, come up. Let's do one more each side here. Down, back up, down, and back up. Good work. All right. Let's go back onto our mat real quick for our last exercise of our second circuit. We're going to do a glute bridge here. All right. This is a good butt, good hamstring. Come down here. We're going to stay, keep our knees at a 45 degrees angle. Going to come up, push that foot up, really squeeze, squeeze as hard as you can. Try to get your tummy up to the sky. Belly button raise. Come back down. It's important here to really, really squeeze. Squeeze your abs, squeeze your butt. Work as hard as you can. Come back down. Come up here, pulse. Back down. Come up. Come back down. If you can't make it all the way up, you can make it here. That's all right, too. If you really, really want to challenge yourself, these are a little too easy for you. Go ahead and do a single leg group bridge. Put one leg up right here. Come up, push up, and back down. Then go ahead and switch legs. Come up, up here, push, and back down. You can, even, you can cross your legs here if you wanted and come up. That's fine too. That works. Come up, back there. Make sure to switch those legs. Come up, and down. Otherwise, just stay here. Keep it here. Get that glute activation in. Come up. Come back down. Let's go ahead and do one more. Let's go up and back down. Good work. All right. If you need to take a little break, let's take a little second break. Grab some water if you need to. Let's just take it out. We're done with all of our big muscle groups. Let's just circle our shoulders here. Shoulder circles, get some head circles in. Get loose, make sure you're ready for our last circuit here. Take those legs, get all loose. You need to do a little jumps, little hops in place, that's good to you. All right, let's all come back together. All right, is it time for our arms? We're gonna go ahead and do a bicep. Bicep curl here. Again, grab those dumbbells. These ones you might need to go a little bit lighter for. We're gonna go ahead. We're gonna take our dumbbells in both hands. Start here right at your hips. Come up and come back down. Come up, really squeeze right here. Come back down. It's really good to make sure your arms don't come out of your body. So right, make sure they're tucked in. You can even roll your hands in a little bit and squeeze. It's gonna give you a little more activation. Back in here and squeeze. 
Look from the side view, come back down to your legs, come up, squeeze right up top there, come back down. Again, we wanna make sure we're really controlled here when we do this. You don't want, again, just like our lateral raise, you don't wanna come up and have a dumbbell that's so heavy, you're just gonna drop it again. Make sure we can come up, get that dumbbell up, hold it here, and then come back down. Come up and hold and squeeze, come back down. Everyone wants big biceps. You gotta do them. Gotta do them. Back down. Come up. Come back down. All right. Let's do about two more. Up and down. Go up and down. All right. Put one down, dumbbell down to the floor. We just did biceps, so now we gotta do triceps. We're taking this tri this dumbbell. Just like we did on that lat pullover with the dumbbell, you're gonna hold it the same way. We're gonna do a tricep overhead extension. Gonna put the dumbbell right here behind your head. Hold it just like we did. Right here, look at that, two hands on the dumbbell. Come over, and then we're gonna come up right above our head, just like that. Come up here, just like that. Really squeeze at the top as much as you can. Up here. And up. Try to make sure your elbows don't flare out like this just too much. Try to keep them as straight as you can. This is a good tricep. Should really feel it burning right here. Right here. This one again, make sure you're not doing too heavy to where you're going to drop it. Try to do as much as you can. Go down. Back up, down, and up. Let's call that good there. Let's grab our other dumbbell one more time. We're gonna work on our calves. We got our quads, we got our hamstrings, we got our butt. Let's get into some calf work. Come up here, come up on our toes. We're gonna do a simple calf raise. Up here, squeeze, and back down. Up here, squeeze, and back down. All right, here are calf raise. It might be a little hard to come up. If you need to balance, don't feel afraid to grab onto something. Get your balance there and come up. The dumbbells are always so heavy. Put the dumbbells down. Just do some body weight work, just like this. If you really want to challenge yourself here, you can do a single leg calf raise. You come right here, put one leg up, come up just like this, come back down. Come up and back down. Again, if you want to make it even harder, go with that head of your dumbbell. It's important here again, make sure you don't lock that knee. You don't want to keep that leg very stiff. You want to make sure you have a little bounce in your knee. Up here, back down. Try to keep that injury prevention. And back down. The stronger you get, Less injury you're going to have. Up here, back down. So important to get all of these muscles, all the big muscles, get them all strengthened. It's important as you age. It's important at any age. Up here, back down. Important for any gender, anyone. Here, back down. So one more here. And back down. Good work. All right. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do a normal crunch here, all right? Get back down to the ground. You've all seen a sit up, you've all seen a crunch, you probably all know what it is. Go right down here, and we're gonna come up to our knees and back down, get those abs working. Come up and come back down. Again, do as many as you can. Keep them good for them. Up and back down. You don't have to go all the way up if you don't want. Just make sure your shoulder blades are getting off the floor. Your head's getting off the floor. It's important here to make sure you're not crunching your head, not squeezing your neck very much. Don't want to get neck pain at all. Up and down. Up and down. If you want to go ahead and cross your arms, you can do that too. Do a nice little crunch. 
up and down. Go a little longer here. You tend to do a little more abs than you can some of your other exercises. So you're really feeling burning now. And back down. All right, one last exercise. I love it. We're gonna do a hip flexor. Kind of tend to forget our hip flexor, so they're super important muscles. All right, we're gonna put our dumbbell right here. We're not gonna use it, it's just gonna be here as our guide. What we're gonna do is we're gonna lay back. You're gonna put both feet to one side of the dumbbell, just like I am. You're gonna lay down, and you're gonna put one foot up and over, just like that. And go back and forth, back and forth. If you can, try to just touch that heel to the ground just barely. Don't try to leave it there very long. You should really feel it right here, right in that hip flexor. Up and over, just like this. Now, if the dumbbell's too high, lay it flat on the ground if you need to. Grab a pillow, something smaller, grab a book, something like that. Now, if you want a little extra abs, if you didn't feel like you got no abs the last time, go ahead and raise those shoulder blades off the ground. And then go ahead and do your exercise, just like this. Get a little extra core work out there. Get a hip flexor. Come back. All right, let's go to the opposite side here. Switch sides. Come right here. Again, go up and over. Just like that. That's all we need to do. So work wonders. Most people don't realize how they you know, work your hips very much. So this is a really good exercise to keep those hips healthy and strong. All right, keep it going. Just a couple more here. One, two, and done. Good work. All right, that finishes up our circuit workout here for the day. We're gonna go ahead and just do a quick cool down. I get that heart rate back down, get those muscles all stretched out, feeling good for tomorrow. All right, let's go ahead and just march in place here one more time, just like we did at the beginning. March in place, kind of start to slow down, slow your gait down just a little bit. Right here. Shake it out, just like we've done that the whole time. All right, let's go ahead. I'm gonna cross the chest stretch right here. The back stretched out. The arms straight here. Pull it as far as you can towards you. Come down, shake it out. Do the other arm over here. Cross your body this way. Sway a little bit if you need to. Let's come up, go over our head, start a tricep stretch right here. Up and over. Making sure that we take some good deep breaths as we're doing these stretches. She breathe in and out. In and out, let our heart rate come down. Let's go down, scoot our other arm, come up and over. In and out. Good job. All right, let's go ahead and let's do a quad stretch here. Again, if you need to grab onto something, feel free to do so. Take your foot, pull it as far as you can towards your butt. Really feel that quad stretching out here. Try to stay as straight as you can. Now, if you can't do this, good way to get a good quad workout. Two ways. You can just come down here. Sometimes try to touch your butt to your, to your heels. People can really feel it in their quads a lot of times. Otherwise, you can sit up here on your knees. You can grab something. Grab that foot right here instead and pull it towards you there. Same stretch. People feel it in all different ways. You haven't done so yet. Let's go ahead and switch legs. Really feel it here again, taking deep breaths. 
All right, let's go ahead and let's just stay here on the ground. Let's go ahead and spread our feet out wide. We're gonna go to each side first. We're gonna go ahead and go to our left, touch your toes if you can, as far as you can to this side. Really feel it here in your hamstrings, a little bit in your groins, go ahead to the sides. Feeling your adductor muscles right here. Stretch as far as you can. Let's go ahead and go to the middle here. Reach as far as you can. Again, take a deep breaths. Here, pulse a little bit if you want. All right, let's go ahead and let's get on our knees. We're going to go ahead and do a quick hip flexor stretch, just like our lunge. You're going to come here and you're going to push your hip forward. Push that hip forward as much as you can. Go here from the side. Do a stand a little better here. Push that hip forward, just like that. See, I'm at 90 right now with my leg. I'm going to push that thigh forward. Make sure you keep your upper body nice and straight. Push forward. Pulse that if you need. Let's go ahead and switch legs. Let's go to the other side. Again, push forward right there. Really feel a good stretch. There we go. It's a good time here on the nice and straight. Take deep breaths. Really focusing on our breathing. All right, let's come up. Go ahead and let's go down to our toes. Reach down as much as you can. This is the time you can bend your knees a little bit. Be a little bit flimsy, a little bit rag dolly. Come down here, kind of swing a little bit. I do this, curl my eyes and just swing like this, cradle swing. Come here and let's come up. Let's come up on our toes and reach up as high as we can. Up those calves. Come back down. Come back down on our toes. Come up and stretch those calves out. Feel a good stretch right there. And then let's come back down. Instead of going up on your toes this time, I want you to come up like a rag doll. I want you to feel your back. Every vertebrae could be the place, one after the other. Come up, come up nice and slow. Just hang there. Come up. Come up here. Let's go ahead and take a deep breath in up. And then out. Come back down. Good work today, everybody. I had a lot of fun. I hope you guys all had fun too. Thank you.